Okay, so let's continue with our playlist. But before that, hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So the problem that we are going to solve today is reverse a doubly linked list. So what is the problem stating? The problem is stating you will be given a doubly linked list. So basically, you will be given a head of the doubly linked list. You will have to reverse that doubly linked list and you have to return the new head. So when you reverse a doubly linked list, how will it look like? So as of now, this is the head. It has a value and the front is pointing to two and the front is pointing to three and then the front is pointing to one front or next, whatever. And then it is null. And if you want to traverse back, this is the back pointer, which is pointing to three. This is the back pointer and this is the back pointer. So this is a doubly linked list. So if this problem comes up in an interview, what is the extreme naive solution that you can think of? Now, I've been asked to reverse a doubly linked list. Generally, we store data, right? We store data in a linked list data structure, isn't it? So if I can reverse the data, that will work, isn't it? So what I can say is, what if I can take this one and I can put it here? What if I can take this three, I can put it here? What if I can take this two, put it here? What if I can take this four, put it here? It still works. So this is the extreme naive solution that I can think of. How can I do that? What I can do is I can take a stack data structure. So a stack data structure is basically a last in first out data structure. So what happens is you start from here. So you can probably keep a temporary variable because we don't want to alter the head. So let's keep a, or rather we don't want to lose the head. So let's keep a temporary variable. So whatever is the value, push it into the stack and then move the temporary variable. Whatever is the value, push it into the stack and move it again, push it into the stack, move it again, push it into the stack and move it. So once the temporary reaches null, you stop. So as you can see that stack has the value one, three, two, four, and at the top of the stack, you'll have one again, you can do. So the temporary is now at null, right? So maybe you can just remove the temporary. Let's again, start from the front. So this is why I did not tamper head because I need to remember where my head is. So I'll put the head, sorry, I'll put the temporary at the head. Now what I'll do is in the second iteration, I will take out the top element of the stack and I'll pop it out of the stack and I'll replace the data. After that, I'll move the temporary again. Again, I'll take the top element and I'll replace. Let's do it again. So I'll move the temporary again, take the top element, replace. Again, move the temporary, take the top element, replace, again, move the temporary. So the moment the temporary reaches null or the stack gets empty, that is when you stop during your second iteration. So in this way, what I've done is I've reversed the doubly linked list, but only in terms of data. So if I have to write the pseudo code, can I say initially I'll take a temporary that is pointing to the head. Again, you can assign it as a node pointer in Java. The pointer is not required. And then you can go ahead saying while temporary, I will go on till it is not null. And maybe you can define a stack data structure. In this case, it is having integer data. So you can probably take a stack data structure. And what you will do is you'll say stack dot push or add in whatever language you're doing. You'll say temporary dot data is what you'll push in, right? What you have, you pushed it into the stack. The next step is temporary let's move ahead so in this way what i will do is i'll end up pushing everything that is there yes everything that is there in the doubly linked list into the stack so this will be my step one of my brute force what will be the step two get everything out of that stack so maybe again let's initialize temporary equal to head this time i'll again start moving till i reach the head so temporary let's move it till it reaches the null and over here what i can say is temporary data because temporary is initially at head stack dot top so you can take the top element and replace the data after that you can do a stack dot pop so you've taken the top and then you've removed it from the stack once you have done this you can say temporary equal to temporary dot next That's it. Once you have done like this is the step two. Once the step two is completed, you will have your doubly linked list reversed only in terms of data. If I ask you the time complexity, let's analyze. So can I say the step one will take B go of N because you're moving through all the elements. 
after that the step 2 will also take b go of n because again you are moving through all the elements so overall can i say that the time complexity will be b go of 2n so let's rewrite it b go of 2n what will be the space complexity can i say that the space complexity will be b go of n why because i'm using an external stack in order to store all the elements so we will we will be requiring a stack otherwise how will you know what elements were there so this will be the time complexity and the space complexity obviously at this moment the interviewer will not be happy and he'll ask you to maybe optimize this because what you're doing is you're doing one pass two pass so it's a it is a two pass solution the interviewer will ask you to optimize into one pass solution so we will have to somehow find a solution that reverses a doubly linked list in a single traversal which means you cannot uh, swap data now swapping data is out of the question so what do we need to swap probably links so if i reverse the doubly linked list this is how it will look like where the new head will be at 1 and the next will be to 3 the next will be to 2 the next will be to 4 and the next will be to null so what we have to do is we'll have to reverse the links yes we will have to reverse the links so and all of these things we'll have to do it in one traversal which means we start at the head then we move over here 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 once we reach the end this is how the modified or the new link list should look like and this will be the new head and this is what we will have to return how can we do it at first let's try to observe now this is a single node Forget about the entire link list. Initially, the next was pointing to 3 and the back was pointing to 4. Very important. The next and the back. So there are two pointers. The next, back or previous. So the next was pointing to 3. It got transferred or when we uh, swap the links, it will look something like this. The next is now pointing to 4 and the back is pointing to 3. What did you observe? there are links which have changed and i'm just talking about one node first let's try to solve the problem for one node once we have solved for one node it's very easy to solve it for the entire link list so what we can observe is if you're talking about one node it always has a data always points to the front and points to the back when we swap the links the next will be here and the back will be here this is how the swapping will happen I don't need to care about anything else because a node will always have data that will stay consistent. There will be a next and there will be a back. What do I need to swap? I need to swap the next and the back. That is what I have to do. I have to somehow swap the next pointer and the back pointer. If I am able to swap the next and the back, my job is done. So I just need to swap the next and back, isn't it? How can we swap? Maybe I can just write the swap function that will do it. How can I swap it? Let's try to understand. If I give you a equal to 2, b equal to 5, how do you usually swap it? You say temporary equal to a and then you overwrite a by b and then you say b equal to temporary, not b equal to a because a has been overwritten. That is why you say b equal to temporary. This is something which everyone knows how to swap two variables. So we need, we need somehow we need to preserve A because A is being overwritten and I cannot take back that value. Well, I have to apply the same logic over here as well. Let's try to apply the same logic. Tell me one thing. This node will have a last node, will have a front node and I'll have to swap it somehow. I'll have to swap the link, correct? If I technically write in a very layman terms, this is the front node and there is a last node. I have to technically write in very simple terms. It's going to be super simple. Assume this is the current node. It's straight away going to be current dot next equal to last. And I'll say current dot previous or back whatever is equal to front. Why? Because after swapping of nodes, the front will become the back of it, which is this. And the next will become the previous, which is this. Quite simple. But I don't want to do it using front and back. Because that is using two, two extra variables. I'll do it with one because I know to swap, I'll just require one. What I'll do is, 
at first i'll just remember the last let's remember the last last is nothing but currents back as of now last is nothing but currents back as of now let's store it so i've stored currents back i've stored currents back what do we need to do first thing i'm storing this so let's not change it because if you're storing this let's store it can i say currents back since i'm storing it let's override it where is currents back pointing to now it's pointing to it's pointing to the element here element here which is currents next which is currents next write it now write it currents next i wrote it currents next done so what i've done is i said currents back currents back is currents next so point it point it this pointing is done what pointing is remaining just this one and you already current back is overwritten current back is overwritten that is why we stored in last so now we can say current next which means i'll create this next as equal to the last so the three lines will make sure that it is set it is set i know one thing if i execute these three lines the links will set now it's time to do it on every node and see if it is working fine or not so let's probably start from the head which is this if i take last which is currents back so last will be null then what am i saying currents back is currents next so let's point currents back so maybe let's remove these links now currents back currents back is currents next which is this so technically this is done this is done which is next currents next okay so let's remove this as well currents next is last this is also done once this is done what is your next job basically taking current to here because i'll have to do it for the next node how can you go can you say current next no because there is no next if you reverse the pointers if you go if you do current next it will go in this direction you have to go current back so that's what you'll write in order to go to the next you'll write current equal to current back so if you write current equal to current back it will go to the next perfect let's go to the next once i go to the next what see if i'm standing here only for this node the links are done this is still not done and let's try to do it for this for this first line last will be this let's write it last will be this then this line which is currents back currents back currents next so it will be pointing to this let's quickly erase this and let's do it done what is the next line currents next which means this is last currents next is last done again so again for this one done and then say current back if i do this i say current goes to here let's go perfect let's again do the same thing again if you see i've done for these two nodes the links are done this link is still not done it will be done in the next step last equal to current back let's keep last perfect what is the next job currents back so maybe let's get rid of this currents back is currents next done currents next is last done and then move this current here let's again perform the same thing last equal to current back which means this and then currents back equal to current next which means currents back currents back equal to current next which is null perfect what is the next currents next equal to last done what is the next thing here you have to be careful current equal to current back so current goes here this is where you'll stop when you stop the last will be pointing here and which is the new head this is the new head so what you will have to return after all of the traverses so what you can do is you can basically wrap this over while current not equal to null you will keep performing these four steps you'll keep performing these four steps and maybe initially you can keep a last equal to null and you can keep the current equal to head just to start off with and at the end of the day if last is here what will be a new head last dot back 
वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट दिस इज योर न्यू हेड दिस इज योर न्यू हेड वाई लास्ट डॉट बैक बिकॉज आफ्टर रिवर्सिंग द लिंक्स दिस इज योर न्यू हेड द बैक विल बी योर न्यू हेड द बॉटम लिंक इज बैक रिमेंबर दिस दिस इज हाउ इन लुक लाइक सो लेट्स क्विकली गेट बैक इन टू द कोड एडिटर एंड राइट द कोड एज यू पीपल नो द सी प्लस प्लस एंड द जावा कोड आर वेरी मच सिमिलर सो एल जस्ट बी राइटिंग द सी प्लस प्लस कोड सो एट फर्स्ट लेट्स राइट द base case that we have been writing always if it's an empty list what if it's a single element list single element on reversal is the same isn't it so what i will write is head dot next perfect in case this is also null single element or any empty you return whatever is given to you after this you keep previous equal to let's say null after this you keep node star current equal to head Done. After this, you can go ahead and say current not equal to null. Once you have done this, what is the next job? Previous will always be current back. So let's write it. So over here, back is previous. So you'll have to take previous. Perfect. What's the next job? Current back will be current next. Then you say current next will be previous. Once this is done, you move ahead and you say current equal to current back. Once all of these is done, you can straight away return previous, previous which is back basically, and then I will straight away click submit. Oh, there is too much confidence. My bad. This will be previous, and let's quickly try to run it off. Let's quickly try to submit this and see if it is running fine. It is. and it is passing all the test cases time complexity single pass yes we did solve it in a single traversal so if i go back to the ipad and if i ask you what is the time complexity now can i say i have reduced the time complexity to bigo of n and what about the space complexity that's a bigo of 1 i'm just changing the links i'm not using any extra space so this is the most optimal solution and the interviewer will hire you no way So the time complexity will be big O of n, and the space complexity will be big O of one. Now remember one thing: if you are going in for an interview, do not write these four lines and do a dry run. I've seen people solving in YouTube tutorials where they write these four lines, they do a dry run, and they tell you that okay, this is how it is done. No, tell them via the thought process of you considered one node, then you considered swapping of nodes, then you thought about the a comma b swap from where you thought about the third variable and then you ended up here you cannot just say that hey these are the four lines how did you think about these four lines that is important that is what the interviewer will look for so make sure you tell about the thought process and the intuition so i hope you have understood everything and in case you are still watching please please do consider giving us a like and if you are new to our channel do consider subscribing to us as well with this i'll be wrapping up this video let's meet in some other video till then bye bye take care